Okay, we're back. Got the uh, SB200 all fixed up, ready to go. So let me uh, give you a real quick tour of what's happened here since the last video. Excuse the shaky camera work, but you know, it's the way it goes. Okay, here we go. Got the uh, new power supply kit put together last night and uh, put that in. There's the two tubes. Everything's cleaned up in there. The original Citron tubes from 1974. So that's what it looks like on the top side. Let me uh, turn it over here. Hang on. Okay, here's underneath. Uh, pretty much the same as before, except the addition of the uh, bottom side of the front circuit board there. But everything's looking good there, and let me just rotate it a little bit here. Okay, and here's uh, the tuned input area, uh, which I really didn't touch other than to clean up the band switch a little bit, but I did uh, replace some... Uh, carbon comp resistors around the tube sockets and so forth. All the bypass caps are original. Plate uh, filament choke is original. Everything else is original. So what I'm going to do now is uh, put the top cover on it and uh, put it into a dummy load and we'll check it out on a couple of bands. So stand by. All right, got it all fired up here. I'm gonna check the power output real quick on a couple bands, maybe, or maybe just one on. Move down to 80 meters, and uh, yeah, I'm on 80. I got 80 watts of drive. Let me uh, tune it real quick here. So let's, uh, I guess, first kind of look at the meter here. I don't know. Let me focus on that a little bit. But uh, go to high voltage. And we have good high voltage. And we can see it drop a little bit as we load it down. It's nice and steady. Now we'll take a look at the power output here. This isn't the most exact meter in the world, I'll give you that, but it's pretty close. I don't have a uh, proper slug for my bird watt meter. Let me focus this. Hang on. Okay, I think about, that's about as best as I can do. Uh, so, 80 watts of drive. over 500 it's right on the 600 watt line so that's the power I put into a dummy load and all the bands kind of look that way I can uh, go to 40 here real quick and tune it up take the radio to one of my favorite 40 meter frequencies Let's see here. And there's about 600 watts again. And let's take a look at the grid current there. Again. Oops, wrong amplifier. There we go. So we'll go over to the grid position, 40. and we're well within the safe range. So that's a scoop on uh, the uh, SP200, I think. Oh, my battery died there, but uh, just about done. Here's some of the components that uh, got replaced. And oh, by the way, if you remember at the end of the uh, first video on this little project here, I 
commented about the parasitic, the resistors that make up the parasitic suppressors with the little three-turned coil on around them. Um, we're m more than likely going to measure high in uh, tolerance, high in resistance, way out of spec uh, from past uh, experience. And yeah, sure enough, they were. Here they are, these two right here. One of those 47 ohm resistors measured 186 ohms. Uh, and the other one measured 93. So they were replaced with these non-inductive 2 watt ceramic resistors from Ohmite. Um, so I got a couple extras of those for the next time. Anyway, fun project. Should be a good amp. Everything works. A little bit squirrely on 10 meters, but uh, you know, it's the way it goes. Uh, 80 through 15, solid output on all bands, very stable. And of course, got the uh, standby switch in there too. All right, that's it. Wrapping this one up. Wait to see what's coming next. Stand by. And keep tinkering, everybody. See y'all later.